Okay, we are back. Okay, so what I want to do, the next on the list of things to do, is I need to plumb up these plumbing fixtures. This is a floor sink. That's a hand sink. Two um, kitchen sinks. This is a utility sink. And that is a floor sink. I won't be putting any hot or cold water on that one. But the other four, one, two, three, four, I will. Okay. And I'm going to try to use the um, the tool. What is this? This analysis, this duct and pipe sizing tool. Okay. So let's let's see how that goes. There's a certain criteria that I, that I learned a few things about. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. We have to get our elevation of our pipe. That's our cold water pipe. Cold water, cold water. And this is cold water. Copper, cold water. And it's three quarter inch, which is okay. It's coming off at, all of these are going to come off at a half. Um, I think that one of these. I think what I'm going to do now is suppose instead of this three quarter inch, well, let's, let's do this. I'm going to try something here. Let's do it. This is what I didn't have in mind, but I just want to show you guys another way of doing things. So suppose I want to come out at three eighths of an inch because some of these pipes like a, I think a laboratory, it's um, it's size coming off the fixture is three eighths of an inch, and let's say that I want this pipe to be three eighths of an inch, right? And what Revit is telling me is that it's not there. What am I supposed to do? So what do you do? What do you do? So you go in, Revit allows you to add a uh, new pipe size, okay? So let's see, let's see, uh, manage, I think you go to manage, and you can go to mechanical, MEP, structural, you go to mechanical settings, mechanical settings, uh, pipe settings, segment, seg pipe settings, segment and sizes. So you want, okay, so we, we know how to get there. So let's see what kind of pipe this is. So you go back and you find out that it is a copper, copper pipe. Okay. It is copper pipe and we know it's here. We know it's here. We know it's here. And the segment is copper pipe. Copper KLM, I'm probably using L. Let's go back and see. Let's go back even farther because that's the pipe type. And that's in our browser. That pipe type is in our browser. The pipe type is in our pipes. Pipe types are that pipe that's showing. This pipe is showing a pipe type, and it's in our browser. But I want to go further into the diagnostic. Let's go into the patient a little bit further to find out what's going on. So that's the type, that's the copper. Let's go in a little farther. Okay, here's our pipe segment. So let's, and it's, the segment is plastic. And the, and the type is copper. So do I wanna, do I wanna do that? I wanna change this to copper. I don't think it really matters with Revit. It doesn't matter at this point with Revit. I'm gonna keep it like that. 
plastic schedule 40 mm, plastic schedule 40 let's say segment pipe segment segments okay so we have segments this is the type which should be I should change this segment to a copper copper L Let's, let's let's do that let's see what happens let's see if Revit I'm gonna change it and then get out of it and see if Revit does anything pipe type and the segment is we know what the pipe type is and the segment is copper L okay so <laughs> whatever Okay, I hope that makes sense to y'all because it's not making any sense to me. Let's do what I want to do is add another uh, size. So segment and sizes, and we go go up to the segment which was copper L. So copper L has the three eighth inch. Copper L has 3 8 inch. Okay, we'll say okay to that. And we will say okay to that. And we will say okay to that. So, here it should say 3 8 of an inch, but it's not saying that. So, what did we do wrong? Or what button have we not pushed? There's a button on here. Okay. Now we want to change this. We want to add a size. We already found out that that um, the segment. I think I think the segment should match the type. Yeah, that was that was when I set this up. I didn't know much about Revit. I still don't know a whole lot about it, but I think we all learning. We all learning. We all getting it. We all getting the bug at the same time. So yeah, I think that that these should match somewhat, you know, the pipe segment and the type of pipe. But that's not our problem right now. Size we, okay. Let's go down to L. I'm, I am using L. Say let's say okay to this. Copper L. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. See this? It says the minimum size is one half. And we know that three eighths is less than one half. It should come up here, right? Yes. See, there it is. There it is. Okay. So we got that. Let me check all these other ones. What else am I not doing? There's no flange. Minimum size. Can this say all? I should say a fourth of an inch. Let's do that. Copper pipe, since it's, since it's allowing me to do that, I'm going to say okay to that. I'm going to come over here. The pipe type is okay. Let's say okay to the pipe type. Yes. So now when we click on this, it should give us one quarter inch, three eighth of an inch, half inch. See, yeah, that's, we got this. So I'll change that. Okay. So that's how that's done. So how you can add a pipe size to out of the box Revit. What's this size? One half. I like to go up. I like to go up to at least a three-quarter inch. Okay. And I think it's at 10, 6. 11, 1. What size? What? Let's go back down. Let's do 10, 6. Okay. And we can modify this and extend from here to here. Okay. So that looks good. And we have fixed units on here. 
I always got to check and make sure everything is is up to snuff. Let's do the um, hand sink. Hand sink is the cold water is on the right hand side. Can pick our pipe. Make sure we got cold water. Cold water come off. It's a half inch. And we can change this to 10 foot 6. Change the elevation first before you make any moves. Right? This is this is um, um, you can use this with with 360 degrees of freedom. Right? <laughs> I mean, since you got this in the mode, right? You can you can come up and change anything you want up here. Okay. So I've changed that to middle. I'm going to change it again to three quarters of an inch. Uh, I should make it one, three eighths, but I'm not somewhere. Why don't I come over, do this, come over here like that. I like that. So now this pipe may change, that size may change. So we got 15 GPM, and what have we got in here? This is where the fun starts, right? Uh, let's let's go. Um, I want to go. Uh, okay. We will do the same. Cold water, cold water, half inch. Can come up. Change this to 10.6. Come out a little bit and then go to our, our three quarter inch pipe. Okay. And what else have we got? This is our utility sink and the utility sink is facing east or to the right. So I know that this is the cold water, okay. That's the cold water, and we go back, cold water, cold water, go back, and before we do anything, we can come up at 10.6 and connect. Well, let's just come up first and change this to three quarter inch. Okay, everything looks to be okay. And we're gonna do the same. The cold water's on the right hand side. I think those are all okay. And we can come up again, 10 foot six, maybe about right here, and change our pipe size to three quarter inch. So I see what's going on here. Let's undo, yeah, let's undo. Okay, and I wanna change this to, to a three quarter inch. What size is this? One and a half. Let's change it to three quarter inch. I'll change it here. Now, so now we all, need, all we need to do is fill it. And it looks okay. So that's the cold water. And it is carrying 24 GPM and nine fixture units. Okay, so what I want to do is let me, I'm going to pause this for a minute. Okay, so I want you guys to look at the sources that are, and there are many sources, that's why I don't like to, to get into the nitty gritty of things because one. One piece of data will tell you one thing and another piece of data won't be far off, but it might sway you to go one size up or one size down. So it really depends on the engineer who will determine these sizes because there are charts out there that will tell you different, will give you different pieces of information with the same information, meaning the same information, it could be 27 GPM Looking at this, 27 GPM will give me a pipe size of one and a half inches. 
at eight feet per second, okay? So you could get 27 GPM somewhere. Let's say it's, it's, it's 27 GPM. And let's look at these other, let's look at this other piece of information. Well, first of all, well, let's go back. Let's go here. 27 GPM, right? So that's about right in here. So let's go here. Let's go to the left. And at 8 GPM, at 8 GPM, which is here at 27, I'm getting one and a quarter inch pipe size. Okay, this is one inch. That's one and a quarter. That's one and a half. So at 27 GPM, at 8 feet per second, this is 8 feet per second. Okay, let's see if I, can I go back? Nope, yes, no. I should have gone the other way. Let's go this way. Okay, um, so at 8 feet per second, 27 GPM, we got one and a half according to this table. Okay, and according to our, this is taken from a page from a, a plumbing code, okay? And according to this, this piece of data at eight feet per second, we get one and a quarter inch pipe, okay? So you have to be careful with the information that you're getting. I don't really like to choose information like this. It's a good, it's a good thumb, rule of, I don't know if it would be a rule of thumb, but it's, it, it may be, it looks like it's, it's, it's not, it's not on the conservative side, according to, according to this chart, it's not on the conservative side, right? Now, let's go here. So, we have 25 GPM flowing through this one and a half inch pipe. And according to, let's not look at this one. Okay. We're gonna look at these two. Can I go back and forth between these two guys? Nope, this one. What about here? Okay, so according to, this is another page from a plumbing code book. Um, we have nine fixture units, and according to Revit, at nine fixture units, we have roughly 25 GPM. So we can go back to our 100 curve at nine GPM. That's five, 10, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 40, 60, right? All the way up to 240. So 10, we're at here. So that's 25, 30, 25, yeah. So Revit is doing, you know, its job, 25, roughly 25. So we know that this is good. We don't have to look for the, we don't have to look at this chart because it's incorporated into Revit. Looking at that, we know that. I mean, that was, that was, was that was good information. So, what happens with all of that is that cold water, you want cold water to be, let's go, let's go back. You want your cold water to be between six and eight feet per second, okay? So you want a line about down in here somewhere, okay? So with 25, let's, can I go back to this other, I want this one, yeah. So at 25 GPM, let's go, <laughs> let's go back up, ah, let's go up, 25 GPM at between six and seven, we're past one and a quarter, so I would use one and a half inch, okay. Now is that what the other piece of, that's what the other piece of information was telling us, I think. On a curve, cold water sizing. Yeah, see 27, 
it was it's, it was saying one and a half inch at eight feet per second. You see, but it's at eight feet per second. It's one and a quarter. But according to Revit, and according to our table, one and a half inch is the preferred size based on that GPM and based on these charts. But it won't be at eight feet per second. Okay, so let's 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 continue. I want to I want to continue this. So. And here we can see that Revit is giving us a velocity of almost four, which is low. Okay, so if I increase this to, let's say I decrease it to one and a quarter, it's going to give me the velocity just went up, right? Yeah. So one and a quarter, let me go back. So you see the one and a quarter was the 6.25. So what I'm gonna do is select this guy. Let's see, what else have we got? I want my velocity to be around between six and eight. You see how low that is? That's one and a half inch. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let Revit size that for us. I'm gonna go to my overall 3D view and only turn on the cold water, which is good. I should turn off the, the I'm gonna turn off these plumbing fixtures also. So I go into my visibility and type PL and it should go down, turn those off, and say, okay. So I'm just choosing this these segments and going up to my pipe size. I want my velocity to be seven feet per second. It's not an auto route. The auto route is only works in sales. But the pipe size, and you can use that as part of your design, okay? So I will say, okay, sometimes you might get an error and you, want, and you might, may want to take smaller segments. Don't take the entire project, right? <laughs> um, so you want the branch size in its calculation, calculated size only. And let's say okay to this. Okay. And so Rep, what Revit has done, it has sized all of those pipes for us. Let's go back here, here, go back here, and let's see what is this. This is probably one and a quarter. Yeah, okay. And we don't know what's going on down here. Okay, so that's the one inch. So we redid that, and what have we got down here? Five, okay, that's fine. Five, six, 5.83. Not bad, not bad, I like it. So Revit does have a way of keeping you within your criteria. And for us, it was no more than seven, but it looks like it, it's, it was, and it keeps us at no less than five point two. <laughs> What's this down here? Okay, so it's so it's it's consistent at five point eight three. It looks like, and that's what we want. We want this pipe, so one and a quarter. That's fine. We keep that. Okay. So yeah, I wanted to go over a couple of how to add pipe sizes and how to use the the pipe sizing tool that's in Revit, not the auto route, the pipe sizing tool. Okay. So. I hope that helped, guys, and I will talk to you later.